Hey boys and girls. So today we're going to go over module three, lesson 17. And I'm going to go over the problem set because the problems that are in this are really similar to the ones that you'll be doing for homework. So in the first section, it says to whisper count as you show the numbers with place value discs and then to circle the correct symbol. All right, so draw 217 using hundreds, tens, ones. So 217, if I am labeling my place values, HTO, hundreds, tens, ones, it would have two hundreds, one ten, and seven ones. And I'm making sure that when I put in my seven ones, I show it as a group of five and then two more, because five and two is a seven. And for the second one, it says to draw 21 tens and seven ones. So I'll label my place values, hundreds, tens, ones, and I've got 21 tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, so 21 tens, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so before I can compare these two numbers, I need to um, bundle some of my tens up. So anytime I've got a group of 10, I'm going to bundle it up and I'll turn it into the next place value. So I know that 10 tens makes 100. And I have another set of 10 tens. I'm going to circle them up. I'm going to move those over as well. All right, so instead of having 10 tens, I'm showing it as 100, so I can cross that out. And instead of showing this 10 tens, I represented it as another hundred, so I can press the set. Now I can see what my numbers are. All right, well, there. this number has two hundreds, one, ten, and seven ones. So this number is 217. And this number is two hundreds, one, ten, and seven ones. This is also 217. So I would say that these are equal. All right, and the next one is the same thing. You're gonna draw them, and if you can bundle a group of 10 together, then you'll turn into the next place value. For the second part, it just wants you to write the correct symbol in, and if you're having a hard time remembering what the symbols mean, so this is a way that I like to do it. So looking at this, it kind of looks like an L, on it's like tilted and that helps me remember that this symbol means less than and this one if I added a little circle right on the top I could turn it into a G for greater than all right so I'm comparing 99 and I'm comparing it to 10 tens well because this isn't written in standard form the first thing I'm gonna do is write it in standard form so I know that 10 tens is 100. Now they're easy to compare. I know that 99 would be less than 100. All right, I'll go to my next one. 116, it's already written in standard form. And this one is 11 tens, five ones. Hmm. Well, I know 11 tens is going to be 110. And then it, I want to add in five ones. So I know that 10 plus five is 15. If I add in the 100, I've got 115. And I'm comparing it to 116. I know that 116 is greater than 115. So what you would do is you just go down the whole list, first putting them into standard form, and then comparing them with the correct symbol. All right guys, hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.